Hello, my beautiful besties, and welcome to another reaction. Um, I have the song for you today by Lou Rawls, and it's called uh, Groovy People. It was requested for by King Crimson. And then he goes on to ask me if I've heard of Lou Rawls. Can you believe that? I mean, what kind of question is that? Can't you see the similarity? He's my dad. <laughs> ah, uh, okay, um, this song, Groovy People, I haven't quite heard of this one, even though I know Lou Rawls very well. So, um... Let's go discover it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lou Rawls! Got an ego. I don't like to sit around and hold a conversation with somebody who don't know where he wants to go. Give me the simple life, all the fun and joy. Can't you see I'm just a people country boy? And I like groovy people. I'm talking about groovy down home people. I just quickly want to talk about the interaction with the uh, fans. You can see that they adore this band. Uh, that's so beautiful to see. Um, another interesting thing is um, when he says, um, I don't like people with, with an ego. I like people who know where they want to go and all that. But I'm thinking to myself, people who know where they want to go, they usually have egos as well. You know, um, I don't think an ego is necessarily a bad thing. You know, it just depends on how you relate to other people. Um, you can have an ego, a huge one, but if you are like... Uh, respectable to other people I'm all for it you know I have an ego <laughs> so maybe I'm defending myself but a great song I like the interaction like I said to you uh, it's it's amazing how grown old men how they were looking at him as if they were like schoolboys amazing stuff <laughs> I like it, you know, groovy song. Um, not usually um, the kind of songs that I remember him for uh, because those, come, well, actually, what am I saying? Uh, I, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say that usually by his songs, they have messages and not just like a feel good song. But this song has a message as well because um, he's talking about people and their attitude and the kind of people that he likes. So, yeah, very, very much up um, the roles as a uh, street. I uh, really like it. And I was also enjoying the fashion of the 70s as well. I liked old school retro stuff uh, myself. So that was like good to see. Um, another thing that I noticed is that um, I know for a fact that, you know, all these old school guys, they like to sing live. And um, he was surprisingly very, very good, you know, um, miming because, you know, I remember that Marvin Gaye used to hate miming. And when you watch him, you could tell that he wasn't spot on, you know, when he mimes. But Lou Roll, surprisingly, has done a very good job here, uh, with a smile on his face as well. <laughs> I'm full of joy. Can't you see I'm just a big old country boy? I like groovy people. I'm talking 
Thank you very much. That was a very, very happy crowd. You know, the, uh, the, the, the applause was deafening, you know. But it looks like that was actually his show uh, because he was like um, talking after the, uh, after the performance. So it must have been his show. They all had shows in the 70s and even 60s and, and some part of 80s to that extent, actually. Um, all that culture is gone now with the internet. Well, now you have your own show on the internet, maybe. <laughs> Not a TV show. Anyway, thank you for watching that. Uh, King, I hope you enjoy. King Crimson Rider. Actually, my son's name is King. So, um, you know, yeah. Um, so, you and I are going to be great friends. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy that. If it was your first time here today, thank you for stopping by. I hope you had a great fun and I hope you come back again. Um, better still, hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. My name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe out there wherever you are. Most of all, stay beautiful in your hearts and soul. Take care. Bye.